all dependent organisms get paranoid. All dependent organisms get paranoid. That is absolutely natural. And the vast majority of women who are, you know, basically dependent, what are they dependent on? They're dependent on welfare. I'm not saying the vast majority of women are dependent on welfare. Just give me a, right. <laughs> give me a, uh, uh, give me a chance here, right? <laughs> so women are dependent, are dependent on welfare. Women are dependent upon free government schools. Women are dependent upon Section 8 housing and food stamps. And also women are enormously dependent upon government jobs. Like it is insane how many women work for the government. The government is one giant explicit or implicit welfare program insofar as it's either giving money directly to women or it's giving money to women through government jobs. And it's completely mental. And they say, well, you see, women, women need mentors. Women need mentors to, to get ahead in business. You see, if they don't see any examples of successful women, they, they just they can't get ahead. Because yep. I'm hearing because, that now at my own work, so yeah, I'm right. Yeah, you you know you just you you can't get ahead. They all fucking hate Ayn Rand. <laughs> That's you know topic for another time. Yeah. But but here's the thing. Here's the thing, ladies. Not all ladies love the women in my life, but here's the thing, ladies. If having a mentor and an example is so important for getting ahead, how about we break up the gynocracy? The mammocracy in children's education. How about not having like 98% of women, uh, of teachers being women for the first like seven years of a kid's educational experience? Because you see, mentors are very important. Mentors are so important. And you see a lot of these girls are growing up with moms in the home, see the vast majority, not so many with the boys. See, okay. the girls already have authority figures at home because they're moms. However, a lot of the irresponsible trash moms don't have the dads around because they either couldn't find a good man, wouldn't have sex with a good man, or drove a good man away. In which case, the boys are growing up without seeing an authoritative penis until they're well into their early teens. Right. And so the idea, well, you see, to, to, to get ahead, women, adult women, they need a lot of examples and, and tutors and mentors, and they need to know that blah, 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 blah right? How about society as a whole? How about, you know, just as a possibility, let's try exposing little boys to a male authority figure before their balls drop. You know, that's just a thought. It's just because it's a little confusing for a lot of the little boys. They, they, they really don't know what a male authority figure is. Oh, wait. Right. No, I should, I, should, I should reform that. They may see a male authority figure in terms of the gay man who might be in charge of the shoe store. Uh, I'm not sure that's exactly the kind of robust masculine presence that these little boys who are straight may need. They also may see, uh, let's see, a politician, say, who is constantly pandering to women. See, there's nothing that spells cock like, hey, ladies, is it okay if I do something? Do you mind that? Is that okay? Jesus Christ, I swear to God, like this, this phallic paranoia, this like uh, gynocracy, why can we not have a, a, a pipeline? Because it's too much like a penis. Wait, is there going to be a giant dick near my house? What? It could blow at any time? Uh, I'm not drowning in sperm or oil. Thank you very much. No to that. I mean, I, I, this is just nonsense, right? But I mean, right. this is how crazy it is. Like, how about you give little boys a male authority figure? How about we say, okay, let's, um, let's get some male authority figures in there for the little boys who are growing up without dads. Let's just have a proactive, positing, hiring policy. Jesus Christ. Try having a company that's 98% white males. Right? You can't do I mean, that. You can't do that. <laughs> but you can have, like, in early childhood education, it could be 98% women. And everyone's like, yeah, that's legit. Right. Yep. You can't have men. And, and what if you said, if you had a 98% white male company, and you said, ah, you know, I... <laughs> I might be okay with hiring blacks. The problem is that they're all rapists. <laughs> yeah, you'd be crucified, yeah, obviously. Right, but you can say, but it's like, see, but we don't want men teaching little children because they must be pedophiles, you see, which is even worse than being a rapist. And this is, you know, there's a reason why white middle-aged men in America are committing suicide at unprecedented rates. It's because the environment has turned deadly 
it's turned into a deadly toxin for white males. And this is why this, this whole victim bullshit that goes on around there, uh, is, it's like a bunch of Roman people in the aisles complaining that they're getting sore thumbs up and down while a bunch of Christians get fucking tridents through the head and get eaten by lions. And they're all saying, well, you know, my thumbs hurt. I'm, I'm, I'm really the victim here. I mean, plus, you know, there's blood on the sand and that hurts my eyes when the sun reflects off it. And it's like, you know, there's some like people dying here. Christ almighty.